Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? Here we can enter our details like first name, then let's fill the last name and here is a combo box where we can select one of the options given and this is the text area where you can use multi-line data. So this is a test only so ignore. You can enter whatever you want. There are two check buttons are there. I can select both or one and radio button I can select one only because these are ex mutually exclusive. So I'll let me select this. Now once all the data are there. I can just click the reset button and remove all the data and the form is ready now for the fresh entry. Now here we will not focus more on the submit part. Here we will see how the reset button works to remove the data from different different type of wizards. We will learn all about this. We will start from this blank template. You can if you are already aware of this layouts and all you can skip the layout part and uh, We'll first start with giving a label. So we'll say L1 equal to TK dot label. So this label will say first name, last name or whatever that we'll say. Now first the parent window my underscore W we are declared at line number three. Now the text what will be written there? It is first name. Now slightly bigger font we are giving. So font size we are saying 28. Now this will place it on our grid. So L1 dot grid. So this is the first element. So we'll say row zero column equal to zero. Now pad x. We are not flushing with the left edge. So pad x we are giving ten. Now pad y gap from the top. So pad y also we are giving as ten. So this is the label. Now we'll put the entry there. So we'll say e one is the first entry box equal to t k dot entry. Now this here we'll write my underscore w again the parent window. Now font slightly bigger font we are using uh, no width or anything we will give so let's come and give the our sorry we will place it on a grid so e1 dot grid now it is the right of the label so same row row equal to 0 and column here we will give 1 because it is the right of to the our label so again pad x equal to 10 and pad y equal to 10 so this is the gap we are maintaining from uh, left and the top edge. <clears throat> so this will just copy up to this because one more last name also we have to write. So I will just paste this one. So now there are uh, two labels are there and two entries. So first name then we will say last or you can write second name. Here this will go to row 1 and this will be label 2. Label 2. Now entry also this I will make it E2 entry 2 let me make it e2 and here let's come row make it row 1 so up to this point let's see how this two entry boxes with that our layout looks so here it is first name and last name in next row we'll add a combo box let's me move up a bit so here i am pasting the values for the combo box this is a list some options are jan feb march or the month list is given now let me add the combo box cb1 equal to tk dot combo okay this is i have to import ttk so ttk dot because uh, combo box is a part of ttk not tk so now again parent window my underscore w now values values are equal to months what I have declared at the top just above so that months are the values or the year the options now let me just reduce the width width I will give it 7 because I do not have much uh, width is required here now let me go to the next uh, or, or we have to place it on the grid so grid equal to row equal to 2 next row row 1 was our entry so row 2 now column column equal to again it is uh, let me go give two so it is at the right side we are giving now along with that let's go add one more text and text uh, box and then we'll see how it looks so we'll say t1 equal to tk dot text my underscore w it's my parent window now i'll say width width equal to let it be no instead of width i will say height height because number of rows let's give me three rows are there then bz equal to yellow 
so background i am giving little uh, it will prominent little visible so this is the text i am adding now let me just place it on the grid t1 dot grid row equal to now earlier the row value what uh, the combo box was 2 so now let me give it 3 and uh, column equal to let me give place it on the first zero and column span i am giving because let it let the width be more so column span equal to 2 pad x equal to 10 and pad y equal to 10 and here also for the combo box also let me give some pad x so i am not flushing it with the left edge and pad y equal to 10 so with all this let's see how the, up to this point it looks these are the layouts only sorry my text area is width i have to mention here let me t1 width i'll give 20 width equal to 20 so i have placed it on the grid let me just run this and see how this yeah you can see this this is there but this has gone to column outside so my combo box cb1 is sorry this column one i have to press not two because 0 is the first one, next is 1. So, column 1. Now, let me say this. Yeah. So, all the options are also available. My text area is there. Now, let me add the uh, radio button, check button and the buttons. Next row, we will add the check button. So, CK1 or let us let's move up a bit. CK1 equal to t uh, sorry here ck1 equal to tk dot check button now my underscore w parent window now what should be text you can write anything i agree fine i am just writing slightly bigger font we will use font let's say 18 now let's place it on the grid so previous one is row 3 you can see at the top so this will go to row 4 so grid row equal to 4 now columns column is uh, let's keep it at the zero so same pad x equal to let's give 10 and pad y equal to 10 now that's all but one more check button will go so in the same line so i've just copied it pasted it here ck2 this also should be ck2 and here column should be one now fine give some other text newsletter you are subscribing to newsletter or not so fine let's just see how this adds to our window so maybe previous window is not closed let me close this and yeah here it is two check buttons have appeared let's add the radio button so r1 equal to tk dot radio button now again my underscore w text equal to you say year one and here one variable we have to give so font let's give font equal to 18 and variable equal to r underscore v okay this we have not declared it let's declare it here so r underscore v equal to tk dot int var int var means it's an integer variable i have declared it so i am using it here now r1 i'll place it on a grid so row is next row what is the previous row was row 4 so this will be row 5 row equal to 5 now column equal to 0 and pad x equal to 5 let me just leave the pad y i think i'll have space constraint okay let me just copy this to and paste it here so move up a bit yeah so here i will make it year two sorry i have to give a value also value equal to two and here value equal to equal to one once it is selected what the variable will get the value value so that is what it is now column equal to one and this is radio button second this is radio button second so that's all now this is radio buttons are placed i have given the variables here r r underscore v which i have declared it here as int variable you can see up from here the radio button let me just save this and but before that let me remove the pad y from here because 
that will give me a space issue so let let me both close together let me just run this and see how this uh, something must be column must be column okay l u c o l u m n here row is equal to 5 here okay so now let's run this and see how this here at the top also so let's run this okay so both the now we have to accommodate here two buttons here let's add the buttons so we'll move a bit up b1 equal to tk dot button now my underscore w my parent window text equal to submit and font equal slightly bigger font we are using 22 now let us place this on grid so remember uh, previous one was row 5 so we'll go for row 6 now row 6 and column equal to 0 so first one now pad x 10 and here pad y will give uh, 5 let's give less so this is what we have placed now let me just copy this here we will we'll give the our uh, second button or b2 b2 now here let me give v2 column is one right of it i am placing it submit and here is the reset you can change the color of this also let me give vz equal to you can give anything i am giving a yellow so it will be prominent now let's see that completes our layout let's see how this looks here it is so the reset button is here on click this will will write the code for this let me correct this uh, text first okay now i'll add the command to this or i will better move to the next line here i will say command equal to command equal to lambda now i will call once this function uh, this button is pressed reset button it will call the function my reset now what is my reset here so my reset is the function which we are not yet defined but we are going to define it my reset fine so let's move up and define the function my reset we are here here we will write it so define my reset this is the function when the once the reset button is clicked this will be triggered so inside that for the first we will we'll loop through all the widgets so widget in my underscore w this is my parent window now i'll saying that this will return me all the widgets class available in the application so w i w i info underscore children yeah here it is so this function will return me all so every all the one by one it will return me all the uh, whatever the widgets are used in this so those i will get the names in that and accordingly i will use that so for that first because i have the buttons are there buttons are there entry box are there combo box are there so one by one it will return me and then first thing what i will do is i will check it what type of uh, cl which class it belongs so is instance so this will check which class if it will return me true or false if it belongs to that particular class so this sorry this is widget this widget because this is just the variable name what i have calling here that's you can change the variable name also so this is t part of tk let me just first entry so if it is a entry then what you do is delete from the beginning to end so widget now dot delete start from zero till end now what this does it list out all the widgets or all the classes and it checks one by one first let's see if i am enter entered any any entry is there then if and if it is a entry widget it belongs to the entry class then it deletes it so that way what happens if i tomorrow i add one more entry widget i need not change anything inside this function it will automatically take care of the all the entries so that is the advantage of it say i have 10 i have added 11 then 11th one i need not enter it specifically here so let's just save it and check 
how whether it is working for my entry box or not so here two entries are there so let me say first one i am writing plus two net dot com now i am clicking the reset no nothing else will change i am writing it here but nothing this will not change see these two are deleted next we'll reset the combo box so for that we'll copy this and we have few more widgets also so let's uh, paste this sorry you should move to our left okay here again one more after the combo box we'll go for text widget tech then we'll go for our check button uh, one more i will go for our radio button so all this will use it so for uh, already we have seen the entry now this will make it a combo box so but note that combo box is a part of ttk so we'll change this to here we'll make it ttk now here we'll say combo box now the combo box will be deselected whatever is there now next one we'll go for a uh, combo box then text so whatever is matching with it whatever the text box or uh, if more than one text box also we have used it will delete it so the same we got now next is after check it is check button now once check button is there but for this this will command won't work now we have to give a uh for that deselect deselect command will give so that will remove the selection from the ch all the check buttons so one by one if any any check button is there it will remove it now next will move to radio button so radio button we have to do it little differently because this selection want to work here radio button now if it is there is a radio button di okay so tk dot radio button now here what we will do is we will whatever the variable name we have used for radio button you can see here r underscore v so that 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 will set it to a different value which is not part of the selection so r underscore v dot set because it's an integer variable and we'll set it to none so what happens now it is nothing will be selected that's all let's save it and run once we'll see what it is yeah here it is now let me just fill all the details to net now dot com give me a give a selection for this combo box now here i am this is a test only so ignore i come to second line now selecting both the check buttons and one year i am selecting now let's click the reset so what happened is reset but this are not sir so widget tk radio button will change here the first line fast character is uh, it is 1.0 it starts from here so this is for the text now let's again save this running let's see so here i have the first one first name last name then i am going for a selection for the combo box here so this is test only okay fine so two lines are text are there now selection all the now one now let's click the reset so all data has gone that's all like this even if you have multiple component also the same code will work so that is the purpose why why we have used this my underscore or uh, info children so one by one all the classes we pick up and accordingly we reset the same so that's all friends uh, i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.